I, I do think that I'm doomed. I will show you how it's done. Death oh. is coming. You survived a lot longer than I thought you were gonna. Oh, he's going down. This is a very bad idea. I love it, let's do it. Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Welcome back to Generations. Today we're playing open world games at last, which I have a love-hate relationship with because they're great, lots of choice, lots of freedom, awesome, but I'm so indecisive, that freedom sometimes is a curse rather than a blessing. Thankfully though, I'm joined today by my GTV team member, Rachel. Don't Rach quit. Hey Rach, how you doing? Good to be here. Hell yeah. <laughs> and she's gonna basically be guiding me through a little bit and making sure that I don't mess everything up. So let's jump straight in with Fallout 3. Let's go! Right, so the first thing that always seems to happen in these kinds of games is the character creator slash edit name slash edit special <laughs> section. I'm, I'm not smart, that's for sure. I am agile, despite being a massive beefcake. Let's go lock down and then just, yeah, gimme. In a world where you can pick exactly what you wanna be, yeah. you've decided that your intelligence is one. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that's gonna mean that I can shoot in a straighter line. Maybe perception. I can perception. perceive how inaccurate yeah, I am. I Let's get rid of repair. Let's get rid of small guns. Let's get rid of speech. I've got zero charisma. I definitely am not going to be making any speeches. You know, I'm a beefcake. I've got to have big that's guns. That's what it is. Yeah. Maybe unarmed combat? Yes. I can just box my way through all the giant alien worm very ants that I'm going to be fighting. This is a really, this is a very bad idea. I love it. Let's do it. So here we are. It's pretty bleak, isn't it? It's it's sort of like a kind of grim beauty. Our main objective, as far as I'm aware, is to find Qui-Gon Jinn. Where can we get some treasure? Uh, welcome to Springvale. This place looks absolutely delightful. I wish that like property prices were a bit lower so I could buy one of these, because it's just like, that's my ideal neighborhood, to be honest. It looks lovely. Real quick, is that a teddy bear? No, it's rocks. Okay. <laughs> I'm really seeing things you're, at this You're point. very much used to 2022 graphics, <laughs> yeah. aren't you? That's what it is. I have to say, for a game that came out that long ago, it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't, well, it's very brown. It's very brown, it's very it grey. Yeah. Um, but I do think it does a really, really good job at sort of like immersing you in this whole like well, this is very, very post-apocalyptic. Mm. But it's a weird sort of like 1920s post-apocalyptic. It like yeah. it just works, doesn't it? It's such an immersive world and the fact that you can go wherever you want. He's got a nice hat though. Sort of looks like the one that's right next to me right now. It's a raider. It's a raider, and he didn't die in one bonk from a baseball bat, which is really unfortunate. He's got a helmet, man. Uh let's target him. Let's select him and let's accept him. Oh, look at that. My big gun, oh, there's another one. I was gonna say they're coming in handy, but there's 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 more and I'm actually on the quite, he's got a knife. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's get a critical strike there. I've crippled, crippled him. his head. Well, it doesn't look like it, does it? He's still going, isn't he? All right, here we go. Okay. Let's go for the critical, critical strike. He's got nice hair, I must say. <laughs> I love the thought, right? I love this about Fallout, where this guy is after you, man, and you're just like, wait, wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. He could be a model. I think I'm gonna go for your head. Yeah. <laughs> but also, you, you could admire the scenery at this point. Yeah, I mean, if you need have a cup, a cup of tea. Have a cup of coffee. Yeah. Take his clothes. I. Uh, takes. He you, deserves his dignity, surely. You don't take people's. Right, fine, we're different. I'm gonna that's strip fine. him bare in a, in a school at that. I don't know <laughs> if that's a good idea. He has got a gun, though, so I will be pinching that. Am I really gonna take this poor man's armor? I can't believe you're considering not taking his armor. I'm gonna do it. Why not? This poor guy, look at it. He looks so sad. That's what he gets for attacking you. Valid, fair enough. That's video game morality in a nutshell, and I love it. <laughs> do you reckon if I just have a quick sip of my beer? What kind of beer? I don't know. Oh, That's is it a nice look. apocalyptic IPA? Oh, it gives yeah. me some more charisma, which I'm desperately in need of when I'm bonking mohawk men to death. This is so good though, because right. like if you're if you're like in a situation, because obviously this game has like decisions and karma and stuff, and if you know you're about to like sort of try and get someone to do what you want them to do, Here drink some liquid courage. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna hold on to the beer for now. Okay. We're gonna find a decision. And then I'm gonna drink the beer, and mm. what I've just seen it does, it removes one intelligence point. <laughs> you have zero. I have one <laughs> intelligence point. So soon I'll have none, and then we can start making some smart choices. Oh, see, I love this. So, like, you have free reign to just be the kind 
of bum that you have always wanted to be in this world, but you're just incapable of. Honestly, it's it's the most accurate video game experience. Like, I'm, I'm really being myself here. Who took the time to string up this person? Sir, this is a school. I want to go to Megaton. I was gonna say, do you know if it's possible to not blow it up? Wait. Cause you blow it up, You right? didn't, you did not. You did not, please. I murdered all of oh them. Oh my God. You could, you could shoot the beast. This way, this way, Or you could okay. run away like a coward. I think shooting it with my baseball bat is something that my character would try and do at this point. What is that? It's large, no! it's got too many legs. It has far too many, can I sprint? <laughs> is that a thing? I'm crouching, no, run! So fast travel would be useful in a scenario where I just can't run without getting out of breath. Well, I'm not a huge big fan, hot take, hmm. of fast travel in Why? games because, especially open world games because you could unless you're in a big hurry of course that's yeah. fine we're british we're always in a hurry yes but um you going from a to b or rather going from a to z yes visiting the other letters on the way and that has mm. so much more to it than just like going straight there i don't know i just i always find it's the little things in these games mm. like your man that you found strung up in the school poor, the, lad. The, poor lad i don't know yeah that's what really makes it for me but here you go how easy is this Zero percent. So it's super armored. Why is it so evasive? Mm. It's a mole rat. <laughs> it actually is. It should just be bonkable. Look at its open, exposed, squishy forehead. <gasps> what? How do I have zero? Oh my God, there's a whole herd of them. What do you call a herd of mole rats? A murder of mole rats? Oh look, I can queue up multiple bludgeons to this strange, squishy animal. Let's do it, let's do it. One, uppercut. Two, on the forehead, yes! Oh my god. One more, one more, one more. Go on, hurry up, you're taking your sweet time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, you got it, it's dead. Could I eat mole rat meat? How hungry are you? Peckish. <laughs> mole rat meat is there! Oh. It's a robot. Oh, hold on, you're running away. I promise I'm not dangerous. I'm just very, very strong and wielding a baseball bat. He's just the bouncer. Have you got ID? Oh, I am sorry, I don't. I do have a cool haircut though. Will you let me in anyway because of that? What if you give him water and he gives us bottle Someone caps? New. So hear me out, we could do that or we water, could just please. kill him. Right, water. is the robot behind us going to get mad? You make a good point. <laughs> you do make a good point. I can never, I can Dutch never be the bad guy in these games. I'm such like, I Listen, can't do it. In a world where you are bludgeoning mole rats to death, <laughs> just on a whim, are you not already the bad guy? Yeah, but like, okay, go They for it. bit my elbows first, so it was just Yeah, exactly, that was self-defense. This is just being a bum. Yeah, and he's got to pay for that crime. He's got yeah. to. One hit, two hit, three hits. Mickey, your time's up, mate. I'm sorry. Oh, no. He's just looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> you lost karma. They... Follow, we'll remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Robot doesn't give a, oh, doesn't okay. give a damn. So we've got all these all these different systems in place and it's quite a lot to, to juggle, I think. Like you it get is. all the strength and lack of charisma and stuff at the start <laughs> and then You've just got, you've got a lot sort of on your mind at any given time. Yeah, I do mm. think, I, well it's a common opinion that like sometimes open worlds are too open, they're just too big, there's too much to do. Right. right. Um, but there, you know, the freedom okay. is also fantastic. Oh, oh. Names, look at the six. sheriff is oh, here? Sheriff. Did I kill him? <laughs> <laughs> look, he's got his back turned. I've got a big feeling, I've got a big feeling this guy's probably quite important for the story. But wait, what if instead of killing him, can you like pickpocket him? Can we like steal his stuff without him noticing? Because he probably has that? some good stuff. You can do, there's so many different things you can do. Hooey! What's he got? Ah, oh, steal his key? That's a bit mean. I've been bludgeoning rats to death this whole time and now I'm having a moral moment about stealing his poor keys. Nah, it's just... You're just becoming, you could be like pickpocketer, wastelander. That could be your thing. Shall I go out, go out? Shall I go out in a blaze of glory? Oh, what? What was that? He shot me. Oh, oh. oh. All right, look. He can't hit me. Look, I'm. Uh, it's uh, Neo's got nothing on me. Oh, okay. He's hit me a few times now. Just <laughs> eat my dirt. Oh, where's he gone? He's running. He's doing. That is the most interesting doing a runner I've ever seen. Wait, uh, they're all. Okay. I was gonna say, can I go out in a blaze of glory? It's happening. I haven't got a choice. I'm gonna dodge and weave a little bit here. The great thing is, though, this is a video is game. Yes. So if you do just run away, just like sort of 
set up camp for a little bit elsewhere. Never. You can come back a few days later and no one will know who you are. Really? Yep, they'll just be like, oh, it's not... I'm going to kill him to death. I'm going to do it. He's getting bonked, right? First I don't have faith. I'm sorry. Do you not. Look, he's crippled. Look at that. Yeah, he's got no hit bone anymore. He needs a replacement. I've lost karma, but I've gained faith in my ability to get out of the town. There are 12 more. You realize, though. I folded. Look I... at me doing the splits. In death, I'm still stylish. I did not see that coming. Just, I just, that's so surprising that you would. Listen, you did <laughs> warn me. Literally, the map is so big, the Pip Boy can't pull back far enough for me to see the whole thing. And that's the distance that I just traveled. That. And that took, what, about 10 minutes? Yeah, well. <laughs> so that's about, what, two, three hours of running? Mm. This is why I'm And technically, you probably could just say, like, oh, I think I'm going to go over there. Yeah. But there will be, like, big scary beasties probably stopping you going that way. So technically, like, you probably could go wherever you want, but it's ill-advised. Yeah, and that's something that I think is a tactical decision a lot of the yeah. time in these games, because you've obviously got events happening all around you at any given time, some of which are very, very difficult to accomplish at yeah. a low level when you've got no intelligence. Mm. I am a little tired of just bludgeoning people to death. I feel like I need an instrument of death that is going to uh, be a bit more effective. You know? Okay. Something maybe sharper. Okay. How do hidden blades sound? Sounds good to me. Let's move over to Assassin's Creed. I want a beach! Welcome to Nassau. Thank you. I've got to say, it's a lot nicer looking. It's really bright and blue Isn't and color. It? Oh, it's good to be in a place with color. Yeah, and like water, which Mickey was sorely missing a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> oh, look at this. It writes itself. Poor lad. Now I do, I think, I just have a little, little look here. I think I've got my blades on me as well. So look at that. Oh, I've not just got any old blades. I've got massive swords. Assassin's Creed. Stealthy. Well, would you it's look like, at oh, that? Funnily enough. So yeah, so we can um, a lot of the combat in this. I don't think you can really go like ten points in strength, really. Okay. With this, a lot of it is going to be very different. A lot of um, sort of stealth elements to it. Speaking of, I am now in the upside down. <laughs> I don't know what's happened here. Is that is that my Batman vision where I can look for clues? Is that what this is? Yeah, so this is so you've got like a couple things you can interact with here. You've got a cat. I've got a cat. Can you pet? Can I pet the cat? Oh, the cat's looking at me. <laughs> can I pet it? Please let me pet it. Please. Oh. It's good that games added this because sometimes you just want to like, you don't want to spend forever like taking everything in. You just want to like tunnel straight to what you should be doing. Okay. It's the cat. I'm having a zoom around. Where should I go? Chase and catch the music sheets to teach your crew sea shanties. Yo! Okay, I definitely want to do that. One of the big things you can collect is obviously like the, the sort of lay of the land, the map of the town. So Ooh, like- can we do that? Do you reckon yeah. there's, a, there's a toll? Well, that's not quite- It's literally enough. the best thing about like these games open world yeah. is just finding the tallest Tekken thing Ooh. and climbing it and then jumping off it. Do you reckon it's that? How does it feel? Because this game came out over 10 years ago. It's that old? Yeah, it was like 2008 or I'm something. so impressed with games. They are remarkable at just not looking like bad for having come out over a decade ago. It definitely holds up well. And I do think like, obviously once you we, you haven't yet gotten to see yet, yeah. the sea, she is beautiful. She's it beauty. really holds up. I'm gonna try and find a way to climb. Yeah, this is the viewpoint. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh wait, I'm an assassin. I yeah. can just I can just start mashing buttons. Yeah. Yes. This is like the I was looking for a ladder. I was like, wait a second. I don't, look at me. I look I'm having <laughs> taking a slash on the, on the little balcony here. All right, up you go. Come on. Like I do definitely think like with Assassin's Creed, like the parkour, the sort of like the fact that you can sort of climb anything, yeah, it's like nice, is such it? a like really great way to do an open world because you can be like, oh hey, I'm just gonna just gonna climb that. It's liberating. It isn't works it? so well. Yeah. yeah, it's so fun. And a lot of the time in games, your instinct is to just roam anyway. In a game like Skyrim, for instance, you want to do that in the world. But then you're like trying to navigate getting on your horse and like driving your horse up a mountain. And then the horse like dies, it just breaks its legs for some reason. And you're like standing on its body to try and like hoist yourself up over a rock. You're running backwards and stuff. It's a bit of a mess. Whereas in this, you can just climb up. <laughs> It makes life so much easier. Well, you do have your, your ship in this. Your ship is your horse, so please don't break its legs. Okay. Um, because will... it's a huge, huge part of this game is your ship. <gasps> You've done it. Hold on, hold on. Can I have a little peek out? 
Look at Synchronize, this. yes. How good is this? And the, like literally your reward just being a cracking view. It's good, isn't it? It's bro. Look at that, <laughs> and the bird and this is, You can definitely tell games that came after like Assassin's Creed, and especially like after this game in particular, mm. that have tried to emulate this. Yeah. It's just so iconic. <laughs> How do I jump off like this? Hey, there we go. I can whistle again. Why am Suspension I whistling? Of rea oh, whistling is like, so like, obviously you're a stealthy boy. Um, so it's... <laughs> As you said that, I just... <laughs> you're a very stealthy boy, sir. Uh, it's to like attract attention. So <laughs> you can get people to be like, oh, what was that? It must oh, have been the wind. And they turn around and then you stab them. So that's, yeah, a very different combat system to follow. Did you just say, and then you stab them? And then you stab them. Death oh! is coming. Oh my God. Oh my god. He didn't see that! Oh my Mate, god, we're so right. stealthy. Hold on, can I, can I steal? Oh, hold on. No, I'm not. We How does he work. not know? Oh my, yoink, give me your money. Give it, all right, off I go. See ya, it was nice knowing you, lad. I'll, uh, no, okay, now he's coming. All right, let's just, let's just beat him up, shall we? Let's just beat him up. God, I sure hope this guy isn't a very important quest NPC. Oh no, he's, he's, there we go, lovely. He's with the fishes now, that's what he is. He's sleeping. I love a good chest in an open world. Oh. I love collectibles. How are you on collectibles? Like... Now here's the thing, right? Fetch quests and find the 17 million like Joker symbol, or what was it? The Riddler symbols in the Batman like Arkham games mm. and like all those sorts of things. I just, I'm way too impatient. Okay. But a good secret. Yeah, every time, really like cool. inject it into my veins. They're so cool. I love that stuff. Yeah, yeah for I'm sure. A like fan. a really good open world will have obviously a main story that you will care about, but yeah. it will very like easily direct you and distract you. Who are you killing now? I'm just shooting some, shooting some poor, <laughs> some poor men. Ow, wait, am I dead? No, nearly. Escape, fight to regen health. All right, geezer, don't We shoot could flee me. to the don't boat. Shoot. Um, okay, boat, I'm looking for a boat. Where do oh Christ, I'm stuck, <laughs> oh no! I've got, wait, they're fighting each other? Uh, yes. Oh, lovely. Civil War. Thanks, flee. Bud. Flee. Right. Get stealthy. So there's a, there is a boat on the minimap over here. Should we just- Yeah, north, north, north. north. All right. <gasps> there she is, the jackdaw. My ship. So she's pretty beautiful, but like as you play through the game and you engage yeah. in some hefty naval combat, you can upgrade your ship and you can sort of customize it. It's, it becomes your home away from from home. So we can actually sail off into the sunset here. Look, it's like golden hour oh, right now. It's perfect. perfect. Let's do it. But you cannot fault how cool it is just driving this ship around. So yeah. I think this is maybe when they started thinking we need to go in a different direction with Assassin's Creed. And you can tell it is oh. such a good entry. Well, <laughs> I was trying to sail off into the sunset. I've failed miserably. I've managed to find the least welcoming bit of sky. You know what though? I'm a metal fan. This is better. Yeah, honestly. Sail off into the thunderstorm. That's cool. Oh, oh, enemy ship, enemy ship, enemy ship. Fire the swivels! What is that? Hold on. Here's me saying, Can do I, I want to try and be kind and maybe do some trades with you? No, I'm shooting. You want to do, okay. I want to, I want to take him down. How do I shoot? Oh, there we go. Oh dear. This reminds me, I used to play this game when I was like nine years old. It was. I, I used to call it Pot Kiko. It was Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't remember what the Ico bits. Wait, actually, I think I do know what the Ico bits stood for. Oh Christ, I'm getting a good lunch in here. It stands Fire! for. Fire! I think it might have actually been .ico because I think I ripped the disc image. Um, Maybe we'll not publish that. Yeah, <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was a child. Um, how do I find? Okay, I hate to break this to you. Yes. But your ship is probably going to explode. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. What have we learned? Things were a lot easier in Pot Kiko. They were. In that game- There's always different ways to approach a situation. And and my chosen way will work this time around. I promise. What's the I definition just need to of know. insanity, sir? Uh, firing the missiles. Oh my god. <laughs> How does it, oh, listen. Yeah, you've got um, like a... uh, Wait, that's a whole fleet? Look, they're sinking. There, we're ending there. I've, I've completed my mission. I've taken the ship to... Am I shooting the, the island now? What is going on? I'm on global conquest at this point. The British have got nothing on me. I, I do think that I'm doomed. There are about nine red ships on my map right now. Just sail away, sail, just leave. Good call. I'm, I, I reckon 
We've been in my clear element at this point. My <laughs> stomping grounds. Let's jump into yours, right? Are you You're an Elden Ring professional, right? Are you sure? Are you, are you sure? Yes. Right, so I've seen how you've played Fallout and Assassin's Creed. Are you, are you sure? I've also never played Elden Ring. Okay. I've never even seen Elden Ring gameplay. I right. love Bloodborne. I love Sekiro, like big fan. Okay. But I've avoided looking as I sailed between islands here. I've avoid, avoided even looking at the game. Right. Just because I've wanted to, to stay unspoiled. Are you ready to spoil it all for me? Shall oh, we jump into it? Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> it's Elden Ring time. Right, so we have you started right after the tutorial. So I'm really sorry, but you're not getting a tutorial. You've got me. It's fine. Great. Um, so this is when the game first really starts to open out. And wow. I want to see what you think of this one. Shall I just jump straight in? Yeah, go for it. Oh, you're uh, you're like a warrior. Oh, you've got two swords. This is going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I'm Ezio. You're going to be fine. In the flesh. Actually, it's a little <laughs> bit more Prince of Persia, isn't it? What do you think about the UI? So something they changed with this one, when when from software went open world is they yeah. have the UI so, is set to like fade out, which oh. I think is like this extra level of immersion. Oh. I don't like it because we fear change. Oh. Limgrave. Welcome to Limgrave. What is that? That is the Erd tree. And yes, you can go there. Everything you can see, you can go there. Everything the light touches is Simba. yours, Simba. <laughs> oh so right ahead of you here, this is a site of grace, this little gold boy. Uh, so that is like your checkpoint. So you always want to you want to find them and you want to activate them because this game does have fast travel. So I'm noticing right off the bat, this is really cool. This is like linked over there. Yeah. My little magpie brain is now like, oh, I must go in this direction. You notice that right away. That's yeah. like so that is called grace. So grace guides the tarnish towards the the objective. Am so I tarnished? You are the tarnished. Yes, Ooh, I like that. Yes. There's a man on a horse. Can I kill him? Can I, can I do it? I'm gonna take this small golden effigy. Yoink. He's, oh, he's got a big shield. And it's quite a meaty horse. Do I do it? Yeah, sure. All right. <clears throat> he's going down. What if he's friendly? Look at that horse. What if, what if he's, what if, he might oh, be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, he's got a low boy. Okay, dodge. Nice dodge. Attack, see, kneecaps. I'm telling you, this is, this is the way forward here. Okay, is it gonna charge me? Yep. Swing around. Yep, perfect. Dude! Wait, is this a boss? Yes, this it's is a, a boss! It's a boss! <laughs> Hold, am I dead? Listen, right? I was doing fine, and then I looked down at the health bar and went, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You survived a lot longer than I thought you were gonna. Do so I go again? Uh, this is the question. Yeah. Do you go again or do you think, hmm, this is an open world game. Maybe I should go somewhere else. I'm so stubborn. Oh my God. The horse has has actually offended my bloodline okay. at this point. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing obviously about this type of game is like when you take something down, quite often you get their gear, something about them, their spells, their armor, their... Oh, I really, I cool. really hope I get this massive bonky thing that he's got on him. That would be absolutely If lovely. I said that you do. Oh, he's going down. I've literally it's fine, it's pitch. fine. The horse is, oh, I missed. Muscle I missed. I missed, dodge, 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 dodge. Roll through, good, okay, okay. Can I lock on? Is there any chance I can like, yes, I can, perfect. Okay, so. It's L3, L3 is tough. We're gonna, we're gonna just, he's, he's, he does telegraph his, his attacks. Oh, there's two. He doesn't telegraph well enough. All right, there we go. A little bit of swipey, swipey there. Dodge that, thank you. You okay. can heal as well. You can always back off and heal. That's like a good. Oh, or you could die. It's okay. Show me how it's done. Yeah. Show me how it's done. Go on, take him out. I'm gonna sit here enraged, furious that this pesky horse has taken me out twice in a row and I've done nothing it's but okay. swipe right. his kneecaps. I will show you how it's done. Yeah. Okay, right, this is, this is how it's done. I know this might be hard to understand. <laughs> Lost grace discovered. Something that I would never be able to find. So the whole thing, the, the great thing about yeah. Elden Ring, like from, from software's password, like Dark Souls, like they were a little bit open, but they were not truly as open as this. You usually had to do boss A before you could get through and do boss B. You were B. sort of funneled in various directions. Elden Ring is 
humongous. Oh this boy. is a tiny, tiny square of it, believe me. Is it? And looks pretty big. <laughs> now that I've shown you how it's done. Yes. Are you a bit more confident now? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna fight him again, aren't you? No. <laughs> what gives you that impression? I don't know what you're talking I about. Just, I was once like here. Listen, listen. Oh, oh, just stop listening, stop listening. Absolutely like <laughs> I was never here. He's heard look, party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, I'm alive! Heal! Hey, the heel, music is good! Heal! I'm having a lovely time. Can I please heal? Hold on. Square. I am. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! Okie dokie. I think, as far as first Elden Ring experiences go, this is probably the most representative bit of gameplay we could have recorded, right? You're welcome. Thank you so much <laughs> for this tour of this vast world. Of which I've seen a horse. A very small amount of it, yeah. And that is all you will ever see unless you let go of your inhibitions and just go literally anywhere else. <laughs> it's a really, really amazing take on the open world genre. It works think so well. This is the peak of open worlds to I date. Definitely. I mean, I'm very biased because it's my favorite game at the minute, but this game will be talked about for years to come as the game that really, really changed the genre. Mm. Well, you're probably also then going to be doing more talking about it on the channel. So oh. thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Generations with Rachel. Oh, thank you so much for having me. No worries. We'll see you next time. Yep.